Hi again. Welcome back to the old 62. If you don't know what's going on, go back to episode 1. That's just... That's my thing to say now. I should say that. Every uh, episode, because... Who knows? Someone might find a random episode, and they might need to go back to episode 1. So, yeah. Um... Don't get upset about that. Alright, today we are looking at a character by the name of the Black Rogue. His real name is Felix Dunn. He is from the uh, Earth 2 publication. So, before Justice League, it's just a society. There's no Justice League. You guys know the drill. You know what's up. I can't think today. My brain's in a fog. <laughs> I'm clean boy. I don't know this rough boy that knows everything. So, yeah. Um, his first appearance is World's Finest, number 62, in 1953, and it says that's also his last appearance. But if we go to Related, it says two appearances. His other appearance is the Essential Batman Encyclopedia. That makes sense. So it seems like that's kind of a thing that um, DC Wiki does. If it is another appearance, but it's not in a story, like it's an encyclopedia or one of those um, other things that it's just information, it's not a story. Uh, DC Wiki seems to not count that as an appearance. It um, tells about it in Related, but that's what I'm saying. Related and the bottom of the character block where it says appearances, that seems to be like not always the same. And it's not a good thing that it's not always the same. If he shows up, you should really count it. <laughs> Alright, so... History. Felix Dunn was a scholarly criminal obsessed with the legendary Arthurian criminal, the Black Knight. And using the knight as an inspiration, Dunn started working as a criminal under the alias of the Black Rogue. Dunn joined a criminal gang and stole some valuable jewels, but shortly after this he suffered head trauma, which resulted in him changing his personality and started acting as if he were the Black Knight. For his sanity's sake, and hoping that he would lead them to the hidden jewels from the earlier robberies, his gang and the law enforcers played along with the situation, pretending that everything was set in the Arthurian legend. Eventually, he was captured by Batman and Robin. And that's where the article ends. Uh, okay. Powers and abilities, nothing. Uh, his weakness... It is stated his weakness is mental illness. Okay. I don't know what's up. Like, you would think there would be more here, but I don't know. Someone crazy that actually thinks they're the Black Knight.
But someone like that. That could be a good story. Because we have other Batman villains that do recur that are similar cases like Jarvis Tetch, the Mad Hatter, or Clayface is an actor so he's put on a lot of roles and I'm sure some of them were like notable figures in the Batman universe like maybe he pretended to be um, Commissioner Gordon. So who knows? Um, I think that it could be interesting if he made, um, if the writers made more of an effort with him. So he was erased, but there might be there might be a way to bring him back because um, with the way we brought back um, Monitor that wasn't really fair though that wasn't fair like the universe that Monitor was from didn't have a place in the multiverse the um, entirety of DC had been rebooted by the crisis event and his universe shouldn't have existed anymore so I mean we could do something like that I'm just saying it's kinda cheap so it's not it's not a good idea because it makes us think like how did that happen why is that universe still in existence why are those characters still in existence shouldn't they have all been destroyed <laughs> so I don't think we should go that route I think we should reintroduce him to uh, Earth Prime or whatever is the proper um, current universe So I wonder, like, there's no other Black Rogue, because uh, where it says current alias in the character block, it says Black Rogue, and Black Rogue is black text. Like, that's not a link. I can't navigate somewhere else from that. But real name, Felix Dunn, Felix Dunn is a link. So let's see what's up it just refreshes the page see that's what the rule parameters state that's what my rules are if he's been rebooted he can't be on the list so yeah that's why um, monitor technically didn't break my rules because he returned to comics without being rebooted there are so many questions raised by that but it doesn't matter because no one really cares that much I mean I do I do and hopefully the people watching this do but for a majority they just don't <laughs> It's obvious because the monitor hasn't been around for a long, long time. And to make him just reappear without explaining why, um, in 2017, that, that wasn't, like, that wasn't okay, DC. That wasn't okay. <laughs> um... Well, I guess we're wrapping up the video because I don't know what else to talk about because that was basically it that's basically all that is there so yeah um, if you want to know what he looks like he is the thumbnail and I'll link the article in the description you can 
show it to people and get more people interested in him. But yeah, I definitely think he could be something like Jarvis Tetch and actually be worthwhile to use. So, make some ideas and tell me what you think about the character. And I'll see you tomorrow. Who do we have tomorrow? Well, someone that kind of inspired a very big character. Um, I don't think this guy has powers, but he does have utilities. Like, uh, Batman's toys. So, yeah. <laughs> We're going to be looking at a alien, so we'll see you then, and peace.